Hey guys, and welcome to my first project log. This is um, my orc army. Uh, well, obviously not this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is one of my orc trucks that I'm just doing at the moment. Um, I'll just run through a few things that I've... <coughs> few things that I've been doing. Um, firstly, I painted this in two stages. Um, well, I haven't painted that yet, but that's going to be painted shortly. Um, this is my ultra main part. This is the hull. Gone for quite a, a rough, a rough look to it because it is orcs. Using some weathering powders in there. Not too much though. I want to say all the all these trucks, uh, these ones are de designed really well. Um, like the mechanisms and everything are designed better than any of the space marine vehicles are. <laughs> so that's quite interesting. You know something's wrong when. Uh, You've got an orc vehicle that's better designed. Now this top bit is just some aftermarket pieces um, which I've stuck on. To oh, yeah, this is the four drilled um, engine block which I picked up somewhere. I think on a bit site. So yeah, that goes through and connects the ratchet there. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I've got some uh, weathering there. Like I say, this isn't finished yet. I've just done the metallics on this part, and right. Okay. You might think, oh, so far there's not really much to show, but okay, these magnets are ready to receive this. I've been working on. Let's try and get that. There we go. Now I love working with plastic card. I think it's a really usable material, and you know it's great for especially orcs, but it's great for any army. So I built like a hard case, an hard case. Um, so this will fit on like so, magnetized on. So you've got sort of like a, a van sort of. shape at the back, a nice opening, I like these sort of teeth at the top, you want to hit your head on one of those, but yeah, that's a piece of mechanism off um, one of the death copters, I've got little bits of tread plate on there, the rivets are done by using a little square and then also a little tiny bit of round, so you could always do these with glass beads, now I couldn't find my glass beads, so I had to use just plastic card. Um, Got loads of rivets on this. It did take a while, but I thought the end result was worth it. We've done the yeah, chips on the corner of the of the plastic guard. Yeah, so as well as this beam along the top. This is really just a log for me as well as you guys, and um, just to keep me interested in a project and to make sure I'm getting somewhere um, with things I'm doing. So yeah, this is my well, first GW truck. Um, I've got another one bears with. Now this one's heavily converted. Probably needs a dust off to be honest. Really ramshackle. This is um, it's done out of a main body of a rhino and a huge amount of plates and ridiculous add-ons. Got a lot of scratch surfaces there. I'm not sure what I think of the weathering on this. Um, I like it, but at the same time, I think it's very rough. So anyway, you you, you guys, if you can, you tell me what you think of it. Um, I think I could perhaps on my next vehicles do something different. Um, but yeah, so like inside, got all bits of stuff. 
lots of weathering, rust effects. For me, I use uh, AK um, enamel paints for my uh, like effects, for my uh, dirt and rust. They're really good, but you have to make sure you, you apply them after you finish all your normal painting, otherwise. They won't work. Yeah, so built up a lot of mud there on the same this side. I think it's a really cool effect. I won't do this one so muddy, but I'll put a bit of mud on it. So yeah, let's just have a quick look over that. That was really difficult cutting out the, the front part of this rhino to add the wheels, but I think it, the overall effect is uh, quite quite good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any comments or any ideas, please let me know. Um, see you guys later. Take care. Have a good day.